Assalamualaikum everyone. Welcome to my channel Muni Bastek. Today I have found a paper of 2020. So I decided to share with all of you uh, so that every one of you get benefit from this paper. And uh, please don't forget to share with your friends so that if they are going to appear in the GET subject test, they should get some benefits from this channel and uh, from these mcqs you can say and one thing i'm going to clear uh, before starting the video that uh, some of the questions are still unsolved i don't know about the exactness of the answers i just share those questions uh, you can say i just share the uh, answers of those questions which i'm sure about and uh, some are still need to be solved or still need to be answerable so if you people know about uh, the authenticity of the uh, option that which option is correct for this question you people can tell me in the comment section i just pinned that comment so that anyone searching my videos uh, should get benefit of uh, these solutions and uh, that's it and whenever you watched the video and you thought that yeah you have got something some idea or some benefit from this video please don't forget to like the video it just doesn't cost any penny or you're not going to subscribe my channel even i am getting the watch time many uh, you can say 80 percent watch time is from the users which are, um, who didn't subscribe my channel and 20 or 15 percent are those who are here um, who subscribe my channel so it's my request that subscribe my channel too and also share with your friends so let's start the video the um, question 6 to 75 are related to mathematics but i am going to discuss from 6 to 30 today question number 6 is maximum number of distinct entries in an n by n symmetric matrices are we have given the four options the option c is correct and now we uh, check the uh, reason about that you can see in a symmetric matrix a is equal to a i of j where i shows the rows and j for columns which is n square entries means we have n by n entries okay uh, so we can choose independently the diagonal entries for i from 1 to n and similarly for j hence we have n plus n to n minus sorry n square minus n over which is equal to n into n plus 1 over 2 independent entries which is the maximum value so you can say if we multiply this n then we get this option c n square plus n over 2 now the question number 7 is if x into 1 over 2 you can check this matrix this is equal to another matrix uh, 1 4 5 2 7 6 3 9 8 we have to found the x basically uh, you just check first you check the solution that you just take 1 by 2 common from this matrix and you got the identity matrix here 1 by 2 x of i i for identity matrix which is equal to 1 4 5 2, 7, 6, 3, 9, 8. And you can check that x is equal to 2 multiplied by this matrix. So we found that the answer A is correct one. Now we go to the next. The projection of 2i plus 3j plus 4k along i unit vector is basically it is uh, along i you can check the projection of a on b you, you can name them and uh, you can check its formula a dot b over magnitude of b which is equal to 2 
the question number nine is the index of the subgroup generated by the permutation you can check this permutation in the alternating group a5 is actually i didn't check this question on internet and uh, i'm not sure about the exact answer so if any one of you may have any idea any exactness of this answer you please share in the comment section and the question number 10 is the number of units in the ring z5 is basically when we are going to find the unit of any ring then we skip zero and we consider any, uh, every other element that is less than the um, given n value like here n is 5 so we start from 1 and we just go up to 4 1 2 3 and 4 are the units in ring z5 so total quantity you can say the number total numbers are 4 so option d is correct for this one 11 question uh, you can check the limit is from 0 to infinity dx over 1 plus x square we first go to the solution and then come to the answer uh, you can check this solution this is basically the standard form for the inverse x so you just put the limits that's infinity and zero and you all very well know that tan on 90 degree is undefined so here we can say pi by 2 is basically the answer because tan inverse 0 is equal to 0 so you can say it approaches to infinity when we have the angle pi by 2 so option d is correct uh, question number 12 the partial differential equation is uh, we discussed this question in the previous uh, previous video you can check from that now we go to 13 question this is the same as question number 12 so both we have to solve with same methodology i already discussed the method in previous videos now the question number 4 uh, 14 is given the vector identity a cross into b cross c which is equal to a dot of c into b minus a dot b into c uh, you can check this question as well uh, in my opinion the option c is correct but i'm not sure about that if any of you know the correctness then most welcome you can tell me similarly you can notice the question number 15 and any one of you can solve or you can give me the solution then at most welcome so we can share with the, all of the people now the question 16 is parametric equation of circle x square plus y square equal to r square r we all know that the parametric equation for circle x is equal to r cos theta and y is equal to r sin theta now we have the question number 17 the curve whose equation is 2x square plus 3x minus 2xy minus y equals to 6 has two asymptotes. dots identify these lines basically i already shared the formula for asymptotes and you can found these lines the option d here is correct one 18 determine the natural domain of the following function and the function is given here you can check and the option d is correct i have no idea about the solution i just know the answer so our next question 19 if the function fx is equals e power x is expanded in powers of x what is the minimum number of terms of the taylor series that must be used to ensure that the resulting polynomial will approximate uh, radical in, in index 5 into exponential function to within 10 power minus 6 I'm not sure but uh, I can say it may have answer C and question number 20 in Simpson's one third rule the curve y is equal to f of x is assumed to be a parabola 21 question find Lagrange form of the error form from its integral form 
you can check um, Lagrange formula from Lagrange formula that uh, uh, which is the error from its integral form. The option A is correct basically. Question number 22. Select formula for dy over dx at x is equal to x naught using forward difference operator. I have no idea. I never listened this uh, forward difference operator. I don't know from which uh, field this is. So if anyone of you know, most welcome. You can tell me. Uh, question number 23. Another name of independent variable is predictor. 24 question is if the correlation between the body weight and annual income were high and positive, we could conclude that if we read all these options, the option D is more appropriate that high income people tend to be heavier than low income people on average. Question number 25, given that we have collected pairs of observations on two variables x and y, we would consider fitting a straight line with x as, a, as an explanatory variable if uh, option A is the change in y is an additive constant, the change in y is, an, is a constant for each unit, the change in y is a fixed percent of y the change in y is exponential in my opinion it may be option d but i'm not sure about that question number 26 hypergeometric distribution has three parameters 27 if the relation between v centimeter per second and s is given by v is equals to 10 plus s over 15 then the acceleration when s is equal to 900 centimeter is um, I didn't check this question before but I think this is quite easy I will share its answer after solving this question or better I will share the solution of this question as well question number 28 for moving point s is equal to 3t cube minus 2t is centimeter is the relation between distance s and the time t then the velocity after 4 seconds is v is equal to d over or you can say s over t you just put the values and then found the answer and question number 29 is it is possible that the newton our Newtonian theory of gravitation may need to be modified at a short range. Suppose that the potential energy between the two masses m and n dash is given by v r is equal minus g m m dash over r one minus a e power minus lambda. But it is for the short distance. The condition is given that r is very very less than lambda. So calculate the force between m and m dash. We found that the answer is B. Our next question is, what is the solution to the damped motion problem where R is equal to B over M and omega naught is equal to K over M and omega is equal to omega naught square minus R square over 4 in the light damping case where r is equal to b over m and in the light damping case basically option a is correct and i am sure about that uh, because uh, in just uh, you can say oscillation we use omega but in case of damped oscillation we use omega naught so the option a is correct one i hope this video is useful for you and uh, it's my request again and again if any one of you found the solutions and the exact answers of the questions that i didn't answer exactly you people please share in the comment section so everyone can get benefit for from this channel thank you so much for watching this video 
see you soon take care allah hafiz